All right, so we are reading a R230 EIS. This is the same as a 220 or a uh, 215 switch. We're reading it with a British today because we're using it to grab the data and put it into an ECM. This client needs an ECM and the original is completely damaged. The EEPROM chip was corrupted when I read it. The special key was bad and there was no VIN. It's way easier to read a 220 switch, uh, 215 switch, a 230 switch with uh, VVDI. With AVDI, a British, you need this ridiculous setup. We've got several wires hooked up to that and we've got it hooked up directly to the EIS. We've got 12 volts of power and this is the setup. I mean, I followed the diagram and yeah, we got to read, but it takes like, you know, five to 10 minutes just to hook this thing up. It can be done. I just read it. We have the data. I'm going to save this data and transfer it to an ECM for this client. Uh, so his car will start and he's going to be happy. But yeah, just a quick note on reading the 220s, the 215s and the 230s with ABDI. Uh, it takes uh, quite a bit of a setup to get this done.